these are unprecedented times. Social distancing is vital. Remain two metres apart and keep those hands washed as regular as possible. No, I've never preached in, to a camera before in my own uh, front room, but uh, hey, there's a first time for everything. The difficulties of the past few weeks have reminded us that church is more about people than the buildings we might meet up in. We are the church. So join with us this morning in our service and please bear with us if it's the first time we've done this. JOY! Idiots are riding motorbikes along the road! No joy! I mean, why risk your neck telling a story that nobody is ever going to believe? Lord God, please bring from this situation new life, new hope and a new start like you did on that first Easter Sunday. And may the rainbows we see in the windows of our homes remind us that you are a God who keeps his promises forever. Find me the glory. He is my life, my strength, my soul. It's good a soul. I hope you have a happier time than you possibly can. And that ne next year, all this trouble will be over. Happy Easter! Everybody and welcome to this week's ABC Online. Happy ending now with happy hands. We've got another story. Today it's about the very lazy ladybird. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to ABC Burnage Online. Uh, ABC Burnage at home. As you can see, I'm back inside our church. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down. Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. The more you know, the more you know you don't know. There folks, you have it. The perfect Trinitarian trifle. I like trifles. We pray for unity, selflessness, the knowledge that we need to pull together. Holy, holy, holy. Greetings from the island of Agistri in Greece. If you take one thing away from my talk this time, it's this. No one is too far gone to come home. Horror homes in midnight mayhem. Sultanas. Hmm? <laughs> Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. And he says to Luke's readers, and to Luke, I am your father. God has promised to hold us in his hands, to look after us and to keep us safe. We have a faithful God who we know we can trust through what he did through his son, Jesus Christ. Oh God, yes I am. Do not fear disgrace, you will not be humiliated. You will forget the shame of your youth. Serving together in the work of the gospel is one of the ways in which we deepen our relationships. Screw it up. And when 
the time is right, God will make that change. So be patient. God is in control. Sing like never before, oh my soul. Let your hope keep you joyful. Be patient in your troubles and pray at all times. Or open doors for people serving as volunteers. For they serving church members at home. This is amazing grace. It's harvest time again. We've done lots of things differently in celebrations over the years, but this has to be one of the strangest. I am so proud of my banana plant. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, it's going to take some considerable global warming before we see bananas in Burnage, you're absolutely right. across the world. So welcome all of you who are here physically and all of you who are watching in on your home computers or handheld devices or even on your television set. We thank you for the appointment of a children and families worker and ask your blessing on her move to Burnage. I'm Steph and I'm very excited to be coming up to Burnage to join you as the children and families worker at St Margaret's. We thank you Father God that you have helped us to have the money to have Steph come as our children and families worker. We pray for her as she joins the church family. This and every Thursday, starting at 7 p.m. Welcome to our Remembrance Sunday service. Today, we remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. Welcome everybody to our first live stream during lockdown two. Of all the things that I have done, this is probably the strangest in lockdown. This has been a difficult time for so many. We hope this time of quiet reflection will be of help to us all. Lord's my shepherd, I Cousin Mary, well, there's a story for you. He will be called the Son of God. If we're going to see a new king that's been born, we better take a gift. We got any room? No room! 
2020. What a year. I'm glad this year's nearly over. I'm going into isolation now with Mrs. Claus. Can you imagine how they've managed track and trace? See you next year and hopefully this nightmare will have ended. Well, hello everybody and welcome to Mayhem in the Manger. Oh, Mary! You're going to have a baby, did you know? No, I didn't. And here we are at the Bethlehem Olympics. As today would have been our Christmas party, we thought we'd make this little video. So sad that we can't have our usual nativity and Christmas party this year. We've really missed it. Happy Christmas to everyone connected with ABC. So the story that I'll read is called The First Christmas. I was so sad to hear that you've not been able to go to ABC for a long time. Happy Christmas to everyone at ABC. This year has taught us more than ever that church is about the people rather than the building. People who walked in darkness have seen a great light. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name of Jesus. Gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth. A miracle named Nativity. <laughs> what does that say? Everywhere shopping tier three. Has it been sanitized? Sanitized? Well, no, it's a stable. Looks suspiciously like a mass gathering. It's a mermaid. Mer! I said bring mer! I knew we should have sent it by Amazon Prime. It's Christmas again. But what a year we have all experienced. It's the room in your heart for to story. Make room for Jesus. Yeah.